Well, I'll tell you. <laughs> uh, I was way to the lifeguard. I think, yeah, it was the first Cod War. It was the HMS Palace that she was, I think she was a steam job, an old steam destroyer. And we was under dairy fuel in Iceland, a bad weather with all, gone under there for shelter. I don't know this way in the storm. The skipper's name was Axel Alston. And I was on watch during the night, <coughs> the night time. When I told him that it was, the weather would begin to, to mend by the way a bit. He came up, he had a look round, and he said, OK, run, we'll just run off and we'll shoot. Well, I called the crew, told them, and we had coming back on the day, yeah. We'll shoot, Ron, he said. Well, I could see the land, we were miles inside the limit. Oh, well, he just going to have a poaching day. Yeah. Didn't see any other ships around because the weather was still pretty rough. Well, we shut the troll and we only towed about an hour. You know, this was, it was told, we was towing out to get outside the, the limits and when we all there was this massive hall, it was one of the finest halls I've seen. Plates, cod, haddock, lemons, lemon soles. Ooh, I thought I could get a hall like this, wouldn't make a record trip. I've never seen such a fine hall for an hour, to only. There must have been about 160 baskets, you know, made two large halls with it. <coughs> And he said, right, shoot away again. And I said, got shot and all chaps just got in the pounds all got in and all of a huge set like to salt. And uh, this boy says, the British trawler, you are inside the Icelandic limit. All you get it. Dolph Axel called it on the bridge. He said, I think it's the Albert that's got us. Well, I said we could outrun him. He, he said, I think it's the Albert. I said, what do you want to do? Well, he chopped the gear, he said, we'll slip and we'll run him. Well, goes down on the deck and says, I right, just get clear, get the axe and just chop the warps and away we went. And we've been steamed for about two hours when I was on the bridge. <coughs> I said, we can't seem to be losing that man, you know. Oh, he says, I'm sure it was the Albert, because he was the oldest, oldest one of the, the Icelandic gunboats. There was the, the Albert, the Thor, and then this new one, the Odin. She was a, she was the latest, really fast, fast coast guard job, ship. And come down, <coughs> I always kept it straight on our starboard quarter all the time was I so it was the brand new it was the oldie. And he would come alongside us and called out to us that he would bored us if we didn't stop and I said, the captain said, Well we're not stopping. He fired warning shots at him. And he chased us up from the west side of Iceland all the right way around, ch charging down the north side. And he, he was still, still threatening to fire and stuff to stop it. And <coughs> when the HMS HMS published it, it called us up on the on on the, on the phone and told us that we had better stop the ship. He said because the East has wreck of it what to do with us. And he said, and Reykjavik had given me to, to, to warn us again, and if, if we didn't stop, they'd fire at us, you know, to stop us. And HMS Pallister came, steamed up alongside us, put some men aboard us, and uh, they told the captain that we had to stop. So uh, we stopped, and they wouldn't let the Odin escort us in, they wouldn't let anybody get come aboard. So we went straight into the harbour to Isafjord. 
and the native people went off and we tied up alongside in Isopure and there was no police bodies or anything like that. We were just caught kind of poaching and that's how the threat is over. I think it was in there for two days while the court case was on. I think the fine, fine, I think it was forty-five thousand pound for fishing inside the limits. Forty-five thousand pound for illegal fishing, and another forty thousand pound for something else. Which you know, it did run up into a hefty fine for, for the vessel. And, after that, they just let us go. So it was a dare do for us in the end. <laughs> yeah. well, we just came out and we had to rig up all the gear, what we'd, <coughs> what we'd uh, cut away. Oh, well, that, was, that was another thing. Well, the second day of the trial was, was halted. It's, it's a memory, can't it go back? No. The Odin went out and uh, she must have marked the position where we chopped the gear. She went out there, grappled for it, and uh, got our gear back. So we didn't have a left to stand on in a, in a court case. Just, uh, they retrieved all our fishing gear. And uh, they found out that the mark cuts where we'd cut the end of the warps, matched the end of the warps that they picked up. No, oh, we didn't. We didn't have a quite, you know. We didn't have a catching house chance of getting out, wriggling out of that. Yeah. Way to recoup a lot is there by putting another trawl, another gear there, and we carried on fishing. But uh, it did cause a bit of a panic there one time. Now he was under orders to to sink him if we hadn't stopped. Well, it could have been a casual to the Cod War, as they called it. <laughs> Did you make any money then when you came? Oh, in? yes. <coughs> Did you, you know, when you settled at Cram, did you? Oh, well, yeah, we made a nice trip, yeah. Pity we could have kept on the Did you stay spoken. out longer? Oh, we had to stay out. We, I think we, instead of being about the 18 days, I think it was 22 days, you know, fishing, to, yeah. fishing, you know to make up for the trip. But then the fish we did catch, they all in place, and I didn't make a good prize. I know we would. <laughs> yeah, so. well, we, we didn't uh, lose out on it. Who we, paid the fine? Whether it's, I think it was the insurance who paid the fine. It was, uh, the mutual insurance. But that, that used to be the regular fine, was £40,000 for him. In 1960, that was that was a lot of forty thousand pounds. If you made eight or nine or ten thousand pounds, it was a big trip. So it's a lot of money for me to come out of it. But if we could have kept fishing on on in the poaching area, we'd have always made made a record for it. <laughs> 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 but the old England letters. <laughs>